What is up guys? My name is Shane Drew Danger. <laughs> this is my friend Brittany. We have been making some amazing videos this year and we wanted to recap them so that you guys could see all of our favorite moments from 2020. So in today's video, we're gonna go over our best finds of the year. We found some absolutely amazing things. If you guys are already subscribed, have been following us, you already know everything, but you might've missed something. So you're gonna wanna watch the whole thing to make sure you saw all of our best finds. And if you're not subscribed already, go down, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. It's the best way to make sure you get notified every single time I post a new video. And one more thing I have to plug right now, guys. I have Shanger Danger merch still available. Makes a great Christmas gift for the Shanger Danger fan in your life. So go down, click the merch, or it's right here or somewhere. I don't really know how to do it. But anyways, guys, buy the merch. Okay, so we're gonna count down our our top six favorite finds of this year. So let's go check it out. I went diving to look for a friend's GoPro that she lost and after a couple hours, I found it. That's not your camera. Ah! Well, I thought it was hers, but it turned out it wasn't. We went to look through the footage. Oh my God. At the hospital to get this thing out. Just about to have a kid. Apparently my water broke. Doesn't seem real yet, but I am ready. Very, 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 very ready. Yeah. It's gotta be. This is the most emotional footage that I've ever got. Fresh arena. Oh, okay, so we gotta zoom in again on that main tag. Hold on. Katie, wait, C E K U S. I'm gonna find it right now. Chris. It was some of the most emotional footage that I ever looked through and it felt so good to do the right thing. You won't believe how they reacted when I returned their GoPro to them. If you want to see the full video and more of their adorable baby, go to my YouTube channel right now. That was a classic one. Bummer you didn't come dive that day. I wasn't invited. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Drama Mondays here on YouTube. Oh my God, stop it. <laughs> we don't have to put that part in. <laughs> That was really cool finding that GoPro and returning it to that family. And uh, Brittany didn't meet the family, so she got to help me I was there for part two. interview them and ask them about them losing it. And that was really special to me that I got to give these people back their their camera, which had the footage of their child being born. Not exactly, but that would have been mm -hmm. cool if it did. Okay guys, so number five on our list is one of my very first viral TikToks. It was the second ever viral TikTok that I did. So I found a lot of these things, you're about to see it, but this was the first one to go viral. So I thought that that would be a cool one to show. So here it is, number five. So yesterday, some friends of mine were jumping off of this rock. They heard that a girl lost her Apple Watch. They told me that the group of people with the girl spent two hours looking for the Apple Watch, but never found it. So I'm gonna go diving right now to try to find it. The Apple Watch must no have music. been pushed by the waves and is sitting somewhere underneath the rock. The only way I can think of to find the Apple Watch is I'll throw my phone down there and then see where it oh, ends up. Because yeah, I think the watch. waves will push the phone to where the watch is. The water's kind of murky, so I'm gonna turn the light on so that I can definitely find it. Okay, dropping my phone in three, two, one. Why? <laughs> okay. I'm happy you really did that. And you almost actually lost it. Okay, so so what really happened in this video is I actually had just bought that iPhone 11 Max and I hadn't even set it up yet. Like I had bought it the day before because my, my TikTok before that went viral and I was like, okay, hey, I'm doing TikTok now, so I'm gonna get a better phone. I had the one viral, went and bought that phone and I was like, oh, I've seen videos of people like destroying phones and they're and they're going viral with that. So I'm gonna like destroy my phone and pretend to lose it. But really I threw it in and then was like, oh crap, jumped in immediately, went straight down on top of the phone. It was kind of hard to find. Like it was actually lucky that I put the light on because I would have had a lot harder time seeing it without the light. But I saw it right away. Like people noticed that in the video, it's only two minutes apart that I didn't have my phone. So the video cut off there and people had to wait like days for part two because I was so evil back then. I'd like do part one, wait for it to go really viral, then post part two when it was way too late. People finally noticed that it was only two minutes apart that I lost my phone. Phone still works, so nothing but, wrong with it. But what? It doesn't not charge right unless you're in a certain position. It stopped doing that. <laughs> It's, it wasn't a good idea for me. I, I get my phone wet all the time anyway, so it would have inevitably happened, and I've thrown it into the water since then, but, it's so, but it still works now, so I win. But don't do that. <laughs> don't do Not that. Not recommended. Yeah. 
So the next clip guys is number four, is how I found this insane shell. It was unbelievable that we found it. And this is actually the raw clip of me finding it. Like I, I didn't like see it, look at it, put it, and then go grab it. Like I literally went down to listen to whale sounds. Mm, whale. Yes. Oh, Here, let's just roll the clip. Day. Let's just roll the clip. Stop scrolling, you have to see this. So there's no voiceover back then. Just text on the screen. But I guess it makes sense to listen to the whale sounds. I used to have my friend's eye. I didn't even get a name back then. Nope, no name. Cry. Yeah, yeah, but that was when we were looking at the whales. I know, I know. Yeah, so yeah my I, reaction wasn't that exciting for the show. <laughs> and this is like the best shell that either of us has ever found. I found one that was just like that when we were Yes, alive. yes, she found one just like it, and unfortunately for her, it was alive. Fortunately for me, because then I get to keep the cool unicorn shell, which is number four on my list of cool things that I found. So number three is another shell, but I do not have it in my possession. I found basically the craziest thing ever on my dive the other day, and I wanted to show you guys. First, I found this piece of metal, some fishing line, dingle hopper, you know, the usual stuff. <laughs> then deep at the bottom, I thought I found an ordinance from the military, but it was just a plastic bottle. Then I saw my friend Octavio with a bunch of cute girls. Wow, Octavio, you're such a Casanova. Then at about 80 feet deep, I found the craziest thing ever. If you want to know what it is, go to my YouTube channel right now. <laughs> my reaction was cool, man. That shell was insane. This thing was like, like this big, like bigger than our heads. Oh, it was bigger than my Yeah, it was unbelievable. It made me think when I held it. Yeah, so I, I was going down again, like I was going down just a little bit and then I saw what looked like rocks, but they looked kind of funky and I was like, that might not be a rock. So I went down closer to look at it and that clip of me pulling it over was my first time checking it. And I mean, by then I knew what it was. Like I knew that it was like a conch. It's called a, a horned helmet. Such a crazy find right there. I like that shell would have been like 20 pounds. Like if I would have pulled it out, that thing was gargantuan. We did pull it up. Yeah, I mean like take it, keep it home, make mm. it a trophy. Like that would have been like, <clears throat> Yeah, so I had something living in it, so I won't take it unless I know that I can eat it and I'll enjoy it and it's sustainable. Given that I had never seen them before, I was like, okay, it can't be that sustainable. What's crazy is that that day I saw three of them in one spot. So it was like, what's this thing that I've never seen before? And then today I found three, like that's insane. So yeah, that was number three of the craziest stuff that we found. But now coming up is number two. Um, this is my first ever viral TikTok, guys. This is what made me go, okay, I'm making TikToks now. So if you wanna think about like, like what got me started and what like made me be what I'm doing right now, it's this TikTok right here. <laughs> that was a totally random girl, I've never seen her. Yeah, he always says my friend, he never knows them. <laughs> Same with the girl on the GoPro video, he didn't know her. And never spoke to them again. Oh my god! No, this is not mine. It's on. No way! What? Oh my god! No, no, no. This is like a new one too. Whose phone is this? Call mom. Okay. Press the speaker, cuts off. <laughs> so, so what actually happened that day? This is this is a big secret. Oh, you're gonna tell them? I'm gonna tell them. Oh. So this is a big secret, guys. <laughs> I got in the water. I didn't even have my GoPro on me. I literally, as soon as I got into the water, I look down and see this iPhone, and I'm just like, what? And so I put it in my pocket and I run up and grab my GoPro because I'm like, oh, this is like a YouTube video because I was making YouTube videos back then. I had worked with D Almighty, the YouTuber 
YouTuber who makes treasure hunting videos. So I knew from him doing it that I can make a video just like that and it would do well. So I was like, okay, hey, let's make a video of finding the phone, returning it to the owner, and that'll be really cool. So I go and get my GoPro and then the phone starts blowing up with all these notifications. Anyway, so I like put it on airplane mode, went back in the water, put it somewhere that looked like it would be a cool spot to find it. And then started rolling with the GoPro. And then that girl uh, who I just met that day and we were going diving together, comes up and grabs the phone and her reaction is so genuine because she thought it was a different phone. So- She thought they found two of the same exact phone. Yeah, so when she said, isn't this yours? She meant, isn't this the one that you just found? But I thought that she meant like she was acting really well, like saying, is this yours? Like, did you drop it? And so I said, no. And so we were having this super genuine conversation where I thought that she was acting really well. So I was acting and then really she was being genuine and had no idea that that was the phone that I had just planted there for the video. Like I, I meant to go pick up the phone, but then when she did it, I was like, mm, that works. And so some people were like, you didn't find it, she did. But then really I found it, but then we just made a video of her finding it. And I, pr I promise I don't fake my videos, guys. <laughs> like I wouldn't have planted the phone. Like I didn't know the girl who it belonged to. Yeah, it was real, but then we just had to film it so that I could make a video of it. So that that's the true story of how I made the very first viral TikTok that I had was that I kind of planted the phone, but not really. And then, yeah, the girl was stuck when, when, she, when uh, we gave it back to her. So that was really cool to like return that phone to that girl and, and have the, the good happy ending to that story. Because sometimes we find stuff and can't give it back. So I think that like really helped. Okay, that was thing number two. Now it's time for thing number one. The best find that I've ever had in the ocean. Mm -hmm. The career maker right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so here it is guys, the number one find. I just gotta show it to you. So after finding this camera underwater, I took it home to try to open it. Using my tweezers, I was able to crack open the battery door where the SD card is kept. Oh, it took a couple tries, but I was able to pull the SD card out. I couldn't believe it. Oh my God. When I plug the card in, one of these drives is supposed to have data, but none of them do. I cleaned the card off. Couldn't believe it, but after cleaning the card, we finally got it to connect. I started transferring the files right away, just in case the card broke again. This is the longest I've ever watched something upload. Come on, just a little bit longer. Oh my God. Wait, what is that? Oh my God. Okay, if you guys want to see what's on the camera, make sure you like for part two. <laughs> I do look mad orange. Ah! Okay, so the first thing, I edited the colors just a little bit wrong and Brittany came out very orange. So you can see our skin color. Like I'm more pale than she is. I edited like the skin for my color and then just made her completely orange. So people were like making Donald Trump jokes and stuff like that. But that video has like 80 million views and I've re-uploaded it twice and each time it got like 15 million. So it got gotten almost a hundred million views out of that video. And then the YouTube went crazy. Like with that video alone, I think I gained, I must've gained like a hundred thousand subs or something. And then on TikTok, I gained 600,000 followers in one day like that was so mental and during that day i was live streaming and like left it on overnight one time i looked at the live stream right before it kicked me off because I, I like got out of bed and then it saw me in my underwear and then cut the stream off right away i think it was at like forty-five thousand viewers it says uh just because my videos were going super viral like i was on everyone's for you page and it was just insane and i i capitalized on it super hard and that's why you're seeing me here now is because you become a fan of these tiktoks that i make and, and me making that one was what solidified it for me that I could do this as a career. Um, and I still have that camera actually. People were sending it to me being like, is this you? <laughs> like my friends and I'm like, yeah. So here's the camera, um, Aisha and Michaela lost it. And I'm just so grateful for you girls coming here and losing your camera here <laughs> because that made me uh, a TikToker. So I appreciate it always. And I was supposed to send this back to them, but I still haven't because I'm really bad at being an adult. So I'll send it to you guys eventually. Sorry, I'm so bad at adulting. But that's it guys. So thank you so much for coming and watching today. I hope you enjoyed seeing our recap of our top six things that we found in the ocean. Um, and then coming up guys, I have a couple more videos before the year ends. So Brittany is going home to Delaware. Bye Brittany. Bye. 
So today we're gonna make as many videos as we can. Not forever, just for a little bit. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, like going, just like two weeks. I won't have a dive partner for a while, so we're making a bunch of these videos. So the next video is coming up, our favorite TikToks, the best animal encounters that we've had, our most popular TikToks. Well, probably just my most popular TikTok. Sorry, Brittany. Maybe some more videos too. So make sure that you're subscribed if you wanna see all the videos coming out the rest of this month, recapping some crazy things that happened this year on TikTok and YouTube. Uh, so you guys aren't gonna wanna miss it. And don't forget to buy this merch for a gift for your mom and dad and for yourself. And you guys can all be matching wearing Stranger Danger merch. That would be such an epic gamer moment. Okay, bye guys.